Okay, okay. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two, one. We're on the air in Q van. Tonight, Senator Crocker Jarman faces opponent William McKay, his challenger in the race for the U.S. Senate seat from the state of California. The Jarman McKay debate. Good evening. I'm Van Amberg, ABC. I'll be your moderator for tonight's debate. We have three of California's best known broadcast journalists on our panel tonight. They are. Roland Post, Ken Jones, and Maury Green. We'll begin our questioning now with Maury Green. Mr. McKay, at the beginning of your campaign, you favored busing to achieve integration in the schools. Lately, you seem to be against it. Which is it, for or against? Well, we can't let a school bus carry all the burdens of our society. The main problem is still, how do we get a first-rate education for each and every child? We can't afford to have inferior schools anywhere, and we, we should always try to preserve the concept of the neighborhood school in achieving this. Gentlemen, oh, is pollution a political issue in this campaign, or is this one subject you both can agree on? <laughs> well, I... Of course it's not po political. Uh, now let's look at that oil spill that fouled our beaches. Now, I warned about that oil spill. I testified, I hollered for stronger regulation. But we needed the oil, and we weren't careful enough about how we went in and got it. So I end up in the shower along with everybody else trying to scrub the oil out of my old gray hair. Now, when it comes to smog, we are bucking the dream of every private citizen in his own automobile. So we had to take on the battle of installing devices. And we are gradually seeing that shift over take effect. In fact, I think we can now say, as a result of our Herculean labors, that we are turning the corner on smog here in California. Mr. McKay. Well, I don't think we can see the corner, much less turn it. <laughs> I won't say it's a matter of Republicans or Democrats, but is politics all right when the politicians put the needs of the polluters over the needs of the public? Now, we have the money to do this job. We don't have to raise taxes one cent. We just have to have the leadership to get the job done. Mr. McKay, what do you think of legalizing abortion? Well, this is a matter that uh, not only concerns women, but all of us. We can't tolerate leadership that shuts its eyes to the problem, and it certainly deserves a lot more study than it's been getting. Senator Jarman. Well, I'm an old-fashioned guy when it comes to this, and I don't care who knows it. I say that human life is sacrosanct. It is God-given and we must have control over just how and when we let people take it away. Mr. McKay, until recently, the public opinion polls have shown Senator Jarman substantially ahead, but reportedly you are beginning to catch up, although you're still behind. Now, what effect will the public opinion polls have on your campaign? Well, I'm the underdog, so I don't believe in polls. I wouldn't believe in them anyhow. Uh, I don't think that you can trim what you say to suit someone's poll. Mr. McKay, your opponent has implied that you have nothing to say about crime. Do you? I have put out a five-point program on prevention and enforcement. Now, that program spells out in detail the training and equipment of the men who enforce the laws. And we must give them every means with which to handle crimes against person and property with speed, effectiveness, and safety. In addition, we've got to set forth the type of system that can stop crime before it has a chance to start. Senator Jarman? Well, of course, it's, it's very easy for anyone to come into it at this time and say anything that might capitalize, to, to pretend that you have all the answers for a situation that you, you may have helped encourage. Indirectly, that is. Question is, where do you draw the line? For some people, their idea of getting tough is longer suspended sentences. Let's just think where crime comes from. Studies have proved that it's this whole attitude of permissiveness. Well, let's face it. That attitude has given us some real bums to contend with. Our society has gone soft as an old banana. Senator Jarman. 
At the beginning of your campaign, your supporters predicted a record-breaking victory margin. You still go along with that? Well, now, Ken, I've played on too many losing football teams where we thought we had it won. Of course, I've played in many more winning occasions. <laughs> but I have learned uh, never to predict whether you're going to win or lose or what that point spread's going to be. If the people have faith in you and think that faith will be reflected, that's fine. Mr. McKay, there's But you don't predict. Thank you, Senator. Gentlemen, relax for just a moment while we pause for this message. We'll be back with our debate in just a moment. I told you, you got balls in both hands, huh? Just wait, wait. We come now to our concluding statements. Each candidate will have one minute. The order was picked by the flip of a coin, and Senator Jarman will go first. Senator Jarman. To me, this country was never stronger. But the test of a strong country is how it faces its difficulties. And now and then, when I hear the barking and the baying of those who would knock our system down, I am reminded of the last days of the great Roman Empire. They argued about what vices they could legalize. And what happened was an onslaught that nearly spelled the end of civilization. Now, I am not suggesting that that is what will happen if the people do not send me back to the Senate. I just promise you this. I will continue to stand up for the philosophy that has made this nation great and is more than ever called for if we are to face the future with hope and confidence. I have that hope because I believe in America. I believe that our greatest moment is yet to come. Thank you. Mr. McKay, you now have one minute to sum up. Mr. McKay. In the beginning, I, I, I think it's important to note what subjects we haven't discussed. We've completely ignored the fact that this is a society divided by fear, hatred, and violence. And until we talk about just what this society really is, then I don't know how we're going to change it. For example, we haven't discussed the rot that destroys our cities. We have all the resources we need to check it, and we don't use them. And we haven't discussed why not. We haven't discussed race in this country. We haven't discussed poverty. In short, we haven't discussed any of the sicknesses that may yet send this country up in flames. And we better do it. We'd better get it out in the open and confront it before it's too late. Gentlemen, Thank you. Now, Thank just you a moment, much. please. Gentlemen, you had to do it, didn't you? I never Jordan, dreamed that, that my right. opponent no, would in. stoop to encouraging violence. I, beg your I pardon, very Senator. seriously doubt that any man who could do that Gentlemen, is Get it in there. there. Yeah. One, one on two. two. Yeah. This yeah. has been the right. Jarman right. McKay right. debate. Right. You've been watching it tonight. Well, nice news in Philadelphia, Rod Perry. Here, let me do I can do this Bill, myself. you were great. You touched all the bases. I thought you were splendid. You see, that five-point program works, works right in. You liked it, huh? I was yeah. terrific. Your wife's waiting in the client's room. Should she stay here or go back to the hotel? I'll be out in a minute. Be out in a minute, huh? Yeah. It's quite a show. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Jack, what happened to Sam? Uh, now, Bill, about that, uh, that speech. Still the ending. Really took care of business. Uh, the, the stump speech tomorrow. Uh, hey! Sign me. Well, a person's bound to pick up How are you? Push camera, push camera one over there in the corner. How goes what? 
Carol, let me ask you, what do you think the internet takes 23 out of 24 bits, huh? He keeps us beating our meat for a whole year, and all the time he's just been waiting behind a bush just to unzip himself. He probably doesn't see it that way. Oh, no, no. Well, he goddamn will when I get through with him. Howard, don't say a word. No? After I bring Jarman down from 20 points to four points, huh? How do you know? That's what he says what he wants, now I say what I want. God damn it, I feel as bad as you do. You do, huh? Bud? Where is that son of mine? Hey, it's a goddamn endorsement. Hello, son. There we go. There we go. Hey, you guys doing it? Come here. Look at him. Come here. All right. Well, bud, I think the old crack looked a little sick. Except at the end when he got to turn it on you. I wonder if anybody understood what I was trying to do. Don't worry, son. It won't make any difference. All right. Come here. Well, look at that gorgeous female creature. <laughs> uh, what do you think of our boy, huh? Oh, I'm proud, aren't you? Bill, Bill. Now we're all going over to Big Sullivan's. I helped him get his liquor license. Now he'll have to pay for it. That's Governor, it. can we That's have you right here? Governor? Governor, I got all this crap on? Yeah. Thanks. <clears throat> See, yeah. What the hell? Forget it. <laughs>